Back to follow-up segment tonight, the woman whose son accused Michael Jackson of molesting him has been charged with welfare fraud in Los Angeles. Authorities say Janet Arvizo stole about 19,000 bucks from California. You may remember Miss Arvizo was one of the reasons some of the jurors said they acquitted Jackson. They did not trust the woman or her son. In 2001, she got 150 grand from J.C. Penney's in this settlement where uh, she was supposedly manhandled and her kid was manhandled after a, 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 what she said was a false arrest. She did not declare that when she applied for welfare. She should have declared it. Not to declare it and to take welfare money from the state of California would constitute fraud. She also allegedly accepted money from her boyfriend at the time uh, for rent money and told the authorities in California that she wasn't getting any help for rent money so essentially when you add it all up they say she took 19 grand from the state that she never should have gotten that's why she's being oh, so it's a fraud case basically right right and now, serious stuff and so, uh, ironically Bill think felony. about it Michael Jackson's a free man she could end up behind bars yeah it's a felony I don't think she'll go to jail for it but certainly she'll have a, a felony on her uh, on her record um, now well, how does this affect a civil suit that is rumored to be in the wind she would sue Jackson civilly for the alleged molestation. I think this could be disastrous for her. Clearly, in, if, if she does file a civil lawsuit, um, the lawyers for Michael Jackson will bring up this allegation that she committed fraud. But if she ends up getting convicted of this crime, her credibility is shot. That comes before a jury in the civil case, and her credibility is central to the civil case. So I think this will give any lawyer pause before they before that lawyer would take this no, case. I, I I just, see, she's in trouble. The thing is, it's a real expensive proposition to take a uh, civil case against Michael Jackson on a contingency bill because there are all sorts of costs involved, huge costs involved, where you have depositions and travels and private investigators and things like that. And if a lawyer takes a case like that, but it looks like a loser at the back end, what kind of publicity do they really get? They're yeah. a loser. Well, I'm you sure she, they'll, they'll find Monty and Tarzana or somebody to do it. <laughs> all right, Arby, as always, we That's thank funny. you. We appreciate it.